of friends, I guess, WV. Especially for those of us who are approaching 30, you just know you want so much more. Everybody peaks at different times in life and you just can't go looking at somebody else's journey. What's up guys, it's your girl Kia Nicole and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy. I hope you stay and watch the entire video. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back and thank you for returning. Today's vlog will be, I want to say a Cinco de Mayo vlog, but y'all, I have no Cinco de Mayo plans. It's just going to be a regular weekend vlog. If I do anything for Cinco de Mayo, I'll vlog that obviously, but we're starting off the vlog at the park. I decided to take my baby to the park because honestly, I'm a homebody and by default, he kind of has to be because that's what I am, but I feel bad. So every so often I'll take him to the park because I don't want him to like, you know, he loves being outside. It's just me. I don't. So that's that, but I really don't have no plans for real for this video. We're just going off vibes. I kind of chilled at home for the most part today. I uh, was watching a little bit of Martin because I'm like, you know, I want to get back into watching like those comfort shows that we used to all watch growing up. Yeah, rocking a hat because my wig is currently being curled. I have them in, what is it, flexi rods? Yeah, I have it in the little flexi rod curlers. So by the morning, tomorrow will be Sunday. Today is Saturday. By the morning, it'll be ready for me to undo them and hopefully they turn out nice. So, yeah, yeah, I just want to, anyway, back to what I was saying. I was in the house watching Martin, and I was like, okay, let me hurry up and take him to the park before it gets too late. And there's boohoo kids out here, too, so, I mean, it's a lot, but they kind of, like, you know, clicked up in a sense, too. So, hopefully, it's not too overwhelming for him, but I think he's ready to get out. So, I'm about to go ahead and let him get out, play for a little bit. Honestly, he only has about 30 to 45 minutes, and then we are out. Look at him, y'all. He be itching to come to this park. <laughs> that is not the way you do it, Cam. Morning, you're in the morning. Why I need you now? Yeah, yeah. We. I gave you what you need. I know what you like. Cinco de Mayo, guys. So, it's the next day, obviously. I'm watching church on Cam's iPad. Yes, I am. And don't mind the shirt. This is not the same shirt from yesterday. I definitely bathed and changed. This is a different shirt. Cam, get out my video. But I don't messed up the doggone shirt. Anyway, this is a little throw-on shirt. You know, clothes that you don't care about that you just throw on. I had to go to the grocery store early this morning, as y'all saw. So I'm basically just going to do a little grocery haul. I have things that are supposed to be in the freezer. So I need to hurry up and show them to y'all and put them up because they're probably melting at this point. All right, so in no particular order, I'm just going to show y'all everything. Y'all kind of saw my basket, how it just kept filling up. And it was snacks in there and real food and probably more snacks than real food. We'll see. <laughs> but in no particular order, I'm just choosing a random bag. But I got... Cam some Uncrustables. He loved these. Yes, I used to make him PB&Js the old school way. But, I don't know. Let me turn church down because I don't know if y'all can hear it or not. But I need y'all to hear me. But, yeah. um, I got him these because I am... It's just more convenient, okay? More convenient. 
I also got him these Morning Star sausage patties. They're plant based and maple flavored. He loves them. So, got him that. I got myself, yeah, this ain't healthy, but whatever. I got myself some uh, Talenti um, sherbet mango. And then I got the strawberry one as well. I'm happy I picked from the back of the freezer because, y'all, these, as you see, the ice still all over it. Yeah, not not melted at all um this is kind of getting melted but this is a new flavor it's called marshmallow sky ben and jerry's and it has marshmallow ice cream with marshmallow swirls and gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and chocolate um chip cookie dough oh chocolate chocolate cookie dough okay so it has like regular cookie dough and then it has like the chocolate cookie dough okay I don't know. I, I It looked good, and I couldn't find the regular one, so I said, cool. And this is a limited batch, but I need to hurry up and put this in the freezer because this is getting soft. Not all the way melted, just soft. And then I got some cream cheese. This cream cheese is going to be used for my recipe. I think I'm using for, um, have you ever seen the TikTok or the Reel? The girl made some beef roll-up, cheesy beef roll-ups. So you use a taco shell. You know, you make as if you're making a taco. So you make your taco meat. And then basically you add a concoction and you put it inside of the taco, inside of the taco shell and you roll it up like a burrito and then you like pan fry it on the pan. Okay, that's what I want to make today for Cinco de Mayo with some Mexican rice and black beans. Yeah, not tacos, but still same idea. Because I'm not a huge taco fan unless I'm out to eat and I'm making their tacos, you know, I'm getting their tacos or if they have good tacos. So yeah, but let me put this up and then I'm gonna come back with the next bag. Still got these Welch's summer edition fruit snacks. They're not terrible. I think I like the original better, but they're not completely terrible. They're not completely terrible. So it's like watermelon, grape, pear, mango, peach, plum, blackberry, honeydew, and cantaloupe. Apparently all of those flavors are in these packs of fruit snacks so it's not terrible but i'm like okay summer edition let me try it i'm also a huge fan of the italian five cheese uh great value premium macaroni lime huge fan this is probably my favorite macaroni to get and then chanel shout out to you if you're watching this video which i know you probably are uh she put me onto the craft garlic and herb mac and cheese their premium line that's pretty good too but sometimes i kind of just teeter totter between the two but this is the first macaroni that i came across that i actually like that's boxed because yeah we don't do well i do do box i used to do Velveeta. let me not lie and be like we don't do box macaroni because ain't nobody got time to make homemade all the time like that's for holidays and special occasions or when you just feel like it like i just made some homemade macaroni literally like not even a week ago but literally it's only when i feel like it but usually it's just for holidays so yeah but i used to do Velveeta macaroni and cheese i was on that real bad the Velveeta shells yeah on that real bad i had to give it a break and then i also got this salsa uh if you go on walmart you'll see yes i shop at walmart by the way yes i do because walmart has more affordable prices sometimes Publix have deals but I usually don't pick up the things where there's deals. I usually be picking up stuff that I have to pay full price for. And it'd be usually like a dollar or two more than what Walmart will have you pay. And that adds up. If you buy 50 items from Publix and all 50 of those items are like a dollar or more than what it would be at Walmart, you're spending an extra, what, $50, right? Okay. So that's how I see Publix prices versus Walmart. But I do go to Publix for their fruit. And sometimes when I don't feel like going into ghetto behind Walmart, I go in Publix just to have a peaceful shopping experience. But anyway, for real, real big grocery house, I go to Walmart. But uh, yeah, I got this hot salsa, hot salsa and it's a restaurant style. It's really, really good, y'all. Like, really, really good. And I'm also going to use this when I make my Mexican dishes today for Cinco de Mayo. Got this Fiesta cheese blend, um, shredded cheese blend. So it's like Mexican cheese basically. And then I got these uh, flour tortillas because I think the girl in the video used the small regular taco size tortilla shells. I don't think she used actual burrito shells because they were kind of tiny. So I feel like it's meant for you to consume like a couple of them, you know. But yeah, so that's that bag. Then I got some 
broccoli. I don't know about y'all, but I am obsessed with the steamable broccoli. Not broccoli, but just vegetables in general. They're just more convenient. So I got this. It's a Tuscan season, so it's already seasoned, but I usually add more seasoning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's kind of pre-seasoned, but you add more, child. I got Cam these yogurt bites. He don't like them. He don't like anything. I'm just trying to introduce him to more foods because this pickiness is annoying. And as a parent, it's frustrating and sometimes make you want to cry because it's like you just want your kids to eat a variety of food and they stuck on what they like. So there is that. And then I got two bags of these extra large shrimp because I'm going to make me some bang bang, homemade bang bang shrimp uh, one day this week. I'm going to make some bang bang shrimp. And it's going to be good because, yeah, one thing about me, y'all, I like to try new things and new recipes. So I found the same girl who did the cheesy roll up recipe. She went viral, broke the Internet. Like I'm talking 17 million views and a few million likes on her bang bang shrimp recipe so i saved that and i'm gonna make that one day this week i might show y'all how that turns out as well but yeah so that's what the shrimp is for and i did two bags because i don't know these are big shrimp and i'm like baby if it's good i might consume a whole bunch of them so i'm gonna make two uh bags of it kim is interrupting me okay next up i got him the i showed y'all the strawberry uncrustables i also got him some grape uncrustables because yeah need a variety and he likes them both also got him these popsicle minions he again don't eat anything he don't like ice cream he don't like popsicle moving on to the next item i got some strawberry yogurt because i do want to get back into making homemade smoothies so got some strawberry yogurt i got two packs of this ground turkey i'm gonna be using ground turkey for my taco meat instead of ground beef i've made the switch a long time ago so yeah, if you're a ground beef person, I'm not judging you. That's typically what you use for tacos, but I don't really eat ground beef anymore unless I'm eating a burger from somewhere else. Even at home, I make turkey burgers. I don't really make ground beef burgers. But obviously, when I go to McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, <laughs> I definitely eat their burgers and it's ground beef, I guess. I hope it's not fake meat. But yeah, so I got two packs of this. I may only make one, but I have two just as a backup, just in case it's so freaking good that, you know, I need to make another. But I'll probably save the second one to make another meal out of. So there's that. These are my favorite, favorite sausages. If you don't know, now you know the Roger Root Spicy Edition. Once you go spicy, you're never going to want to go back to regular. But yeah, I only do smoked sausage. I do not do like the... The breakfast sausage and i don't do that i don't do those for some reason i just can't get into the breakfast style sausage i can only do the smoked sausage which can be used for all meals breakfast lunch dinner it's a universal sausage so that's why i like that sausage and also got some sour cream this is also going along with the mexican meal i'm gonna make. i know i sound so bad talking about mexican meal but with my meal for today and then I got my baby some milk because, you know, he needed some more milk. He does 2%. I had him on almond milk for a long time, and I'm like, almond milk adds up. Almond milk is not cheap. I don't even drink milk, period. I used to be on almond milk heavy. But I realized I don't even drink, eat cereal, so what am I using the milk for? And I'm not just drinking regular milk, so I don't even buy milk, really. So I'm like, baby, we finna just get him some good old cow milk. We grew up on it. We did not die. I'm still fine <laughs> and we're just gonna keep it pushing but yeah eventually like as he gets older if he wants to do almond or switch from cow he can I don't care but cow is just cheap for me. I also purchased this uh, Velveeta chicken and broccoli skillet I absolutely love this I never really put the chicken in there I just like it for the rice and the little broccoli pieces and the cheese sauce it's really 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 good if you like broccoli cheese rice this is basically broccoli cheese rice so yeah without having to do the extra to make it yourself really really good and then i i'm obsessed with the goya mexican rice this is the best rice ever and you can't tell me anything different goya brand period like the goya brand they snap on everything but yeah i grew up on this rice my mom introduced us to this rice as kids and 
I was obsessed from that moment. Also got jasmine rice because this is a staple in my house. Like we don't do the regular white rice. It's always jasmine, jasmine or nothing. And next, I purchased some pineapple juice because if I do decide to drink a little bit today, by the way, I have absolutely no plans for single de Mayo. I just don't want to cook. <laughs> I don't know what else but if i do end up drinking i may want to like make a little cocktail or whatever and i don't know about y'all but pineapple juice is like a must when i'm making a cocktail it just makes the whole drink smoother i can make it without pineapple juice but it just tastes way better with pineapple juice so i always put pineapple juice in almost every cocktail and then i got i saw they have a pineapple mango one and i'm like hold up they might be on to something because pineapple and mango is a deadly combination. So I'm gonna try this out too. So I'm gonna see like what the difference is. I'm gonna put this in. You know, I'm gonna do one with this and then one with the regular pineapple juice. They both gonna hit, I'm sure. But it's probably gonna bring out more of the mango flavor. I absolutely love salmon croquettes or just making salmon in the morning for breakfast. So I have like boohoo packs of salmon. Yeah, I can't even tell you how many packs. So many. <laughs> Boo packs of salmon. I had to get two of the little ones because I ran out of the big ones. I usually get the cans, but then I'm like, this is just so much easier and less mess. The, the cans, you're dealing with the liquid inside and it's, it's just too much. So this is actually easier. It's a little bit more, I think just a few cents more than a can. So it's kind of worth it, I think. And you get the same amount as you would in a can if you get this size. So yeah and this is my favorite brand of salmon to get the chicken chicken of the sea yeah this brand so there's that and then like i say i like goya so i got the goya black beans usually i get like the store brand so like great value but i'm like nah we going all the way hispanic with it so we're gonna get the goya <laughs> goya black beans to see if there's even a difference for real probably not but whatever and then I got me some evaporated milk and I got me some condensed milk. This is my favorite condensed milk brand. I also got some mayo because the recipe that I'm using to make these beef roll-ups, I think calls for mayo. No, do it. I think so. If not, it definitely calls for mayo for the bang bang shrimp. So one of those two recipes calls for mayo. I think it's the bang bang shrimp. But yeah, and then <laughs> I'm, I'm very fat, I know, and I know summer's around the corner and I'm very much not prepared, but I have been depriving myself of these for so long, I finally had to get them. I am obsessed with the Oreo Cakesters, just cause they're soft baked and I just, it's more my vibe than like the hard Oreos. Got some taco seasoning. I just went with the Taco Bell seasoning only because I'm like, okay, I like how Taco Bell tacos taste. Can't go wrong with the seasoning. Because sometimes, like, some of these seasoning packets are just so salty. I mean, so salty. So, hopefully this one isn't too bad. It only has 300 milligrams of salt, which is not that much, if you know. 300 isn't as bad. Because there's some stuff that'd be like 5, 6, 7. So, I just went with the Taco Bell one. I've tried, I don't want to say every type of taco seasoning, but I've tried a variety of taco seasoning. And some of them just be too salty. So, I'm like... What the hey? Let me just try Taco Bell's. And I love these macaroni, uh, triple cheese, craft macaronis. <laughs> I love these. I love them since college. So it, it kind of just takes me back to my college days. And yeah, so I get them not every time, but quite often now. So yeah, love these. It's a quick little thing you pop in when you don't feel like cooking or you don't feel like making macaroni for real so you can just quickly add this to your side of food that you're eating also got the cheese it puffed you know addition i don't know i usually get the regular cheeses but i'm like let me just try these for once i used to always pack them but i'm gonna try them i might try one right now with y'all just to see what the difference is so this is how they look this is actually two together i guess they're super airy let's see mm -mm. Mm -mm. you want one cam no of course you don't mm -mm. Mm -mm. i don't like it it just tastes like 
I forget what it tastes like. It just tastes like Cheetos, but cheese it form. It just literally tastes like Cheetos. And I don't like Cheetos. I don't like hot Cheetos, but I don't like... Mm -mm. It's just giving Cheetos, y'all. I've been bamboozled. I prefer the regular cheeses, and that's what I should have got. <laughs> Anywho, we try new things up here. Uh, my grandpa put me on these tip a long, long time ago. And so I get them all the time. They're the spicy, sweet, spicy jalapeno chips. And they're really good, especially when you're just eating a sandwich or whatever on the side or a sub or something. Those go really, really good. And then I'm obsessed with the hot funyuns. So, yes, I got some hot funyuns. Chris is obsessed with the hot Dori um, ranch Doritos. I used to be, but I think I'm more of a hot funyun girl. So, mm. this is really my go-to and then i just grabbed him a bag of that cam don't eat chips i got these hoping he would try them he don't even eat regular cheetos so he probably ain't gonna try that either but no matter i'm gonna pack it in his lunch box and if he's touchy he'll probably just play with it but yeah there's that bag i think i have a few more bags and then we're done with the grocery haul tell me why the lighting looks way better with the lights off i have my ring light here Cam just turned the light off because that's what he does. But I'm like, hold up, leave the light off. It actually looks better. Wow, I should have been filming like this the whole time. I'm so slow. Everybody know in most cases when you have artificial lighting that, you know, the other lights can stay off. Moving on into my seasons that I bought. I bought some more adobo. I was out of this for a very, 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 very long time. And I got to have my adobo. Goya brand, hello. <laughs> And then I got some Thai sweet chili sauce because this is going to be used for my recipe for tonight. Mm -hmm. Actually, this might be for the bang bang sauce. I forget which is used for which. I think this is for the bang bang shrimp. I think that's to make the bang bang shrimp. Some crushed red peppers because I needed some more of those. Um, some adobo. Now, I think this is actually used for my... Uh, dish that i'm the beef roll up i think that's used for that actually i got some montreal steak seasoning i'm not really a steak person but sometimes i do buy steak and i just want the steak to be flavorful and so yeah i bought that and then some ground black pepper garlic powder because you know we always need that and i have enough onion powder so i didn't re-up on that some montreal chicken seasoning never ever use this actually but I find few recipes like chicken recipes people do use this especially when they're grilling so I ain't grilling but it's still you know so I'm gonna try this and you can use it more than on just chicken but I'm gonna try it on the chicken and see whenever I make chicken again and then I have a buttery the Kinder's buttery burger blend I love this brand of seasoning Kinder's I absolutely love their brand of seasoning for one um so I'm pretty sure this is gonna taste really really good for when I do my turkey burgers, whenever I make those again. And then I got some meat tenderizer because I feel like this probably be good for, for the steak, for any meat that's typically tough for it to be tender. Even for my like roast, probably could put it on there. I don't know, my grandma swore by meat tenderizer growing up. I never really used it, but I'ma see. I'ma see what meat tenderizer be about. Let me know, do y'all use meat tenderizer? And if so, like, what do y'all use it for? Like, just the tougher meats that need to be tender? Or do y'all kind of just slow cook y'all foods and then kind of let it go tender the natural route? I don't know. I, I just know my grandma used to always use this. I never really used it as an adult, but I'ma try it out and see. So that's the seasonings I bought. Uh, obviously, I'm just like, adding new seasonings and replacing the ones that are missing i use way more seasonings than just these but these are still a good amount of seasons even if i were to just use what i showed y'all but i do have other seasons and then i got this tostitos salsa con queso so that's salsa with cheese with the queso cheese because this is what i'm going to use for my meal tonight or not tonight today so this is what I'm going to use. I could have did like just regular queso or regular just cheese. But I don't know. I just showed that one. 
And then I got some uh, vegetable oil because when I do the bay main shrimp, I'm gonna have to obviously fry them. So that's what the oil is for. And then I got some sriracha chili sauce. My phone is actually dying, so I may just end it there. I think that's everything that I purchased. Thanks for doing this grocery haul with me. Sorry the lighting wasn't this great the whole video, but it is what it is. Okay, I put my phone on the charger so I can just show y'all these last couple of groceries. So I bought a bag of oranges because I love oranges. I don't know. I'm starting to become an orange girl. So I love oranges and I love grapes. I think those are honestly my two favorite fruits, oranges and grapes. Strawberries only when they're in season because a lot of times you get them and they go bad so fast and some of them you buy them and they're already bad so with strawberries it's kind of like only when i can get a good batch other than that oranges and i think grapes are like my favorite right now got came some apple juice this is literally like everything i purchased y'all i've never done a grocery haul i think where i showed y'all every single thing maybe i have but i don't do this often like i said i really don't have any plans for today so i'll just take y'all along for whatever but I do want to get into the church notes. So I do want to go over a couple points that were made during church. A couple of church notes. I was listening for the most part. <laughs> as best as I could as I was trying to show y'all my groceries. So he talked about like just how to be in. The, the whole message was how to be an effective witness for Christ basically. Um, you know it's one thing to kind of shoot scriptures that people are like oh in the bible it says this it, it says that you know but you have to make sure that your life is aligned as well and this is especially mainly for the people who have converted or the people who um are saved or i don't even want to say bible thumpers but for the people who you know they kind of change their life around for the most part <laughs> i had to choose my words wisely because like he says it's a lot of hypocrites so like you bible thumpers like they shooting scriptures at you or like a lot of their content is based on christ and da da da, da on their platforms but yet they live in a life that is maybe the opposite or contradictory to what they're trying to preach online so just be wary of false prophets and people who claiming this and claiming that and Telling you you gotta do this, telling you gotta do that, telling you God don't like this, God don't like that, you know. Cam keeps interrupting me because he just wants some love and attention. Literally, this is all day, which is why I be struggling to vlog. But anyway, uh, yeah, just be wary of people who saying one thing, living a different life. So just, he's kind of just saying like to be an effective witness, make sure that you're also following the things that you're trying to preach to others and be kind to your enemies or people who may not like you. But yeah, his message can also be applied to those who may not be living a righteous life or you know, they're not holier than thou, they're not deeply rooted in the church, like, but you know God and you love him and you know what I'm saying? You're just trying to do as best as you can in his life. So even for those who may not be all the way there yet, this message is it was universal so he talked about you know when was the last time you actually asked someone like did they need help did they need your did they need your assistance or just lended a helping hand like when was the last time you actually extended your hand to someone basically you know whether it be oh let me help you with putting your groceries up or you see someone struggling with anything you know what i'm saying maybe having car problems or just anything like you know maybe they're struggling to open a door and you just open the door for, help open the door for them or i don't know like when was the last time like you did something kind to someone's basically what he was saying because we all are out here struggling we all dealing with silent battles that we don't want to talk about so it's like when you just put yourself in a mind of that, it's like, okay, maybe me helping this person could make their day. You know what I'm saying? In return, it make you feel good too. Like you did something kind. So he talks about that. He also talked about um, just killing, along with that, like killing your enemies with kindness. So not being nasty. <laughs> nasty is in nice, nasty. He's like, stop being nasty, nice, nasty. And like, just pray for them, just pray for them and move graciously. Like everything doesn't require response. Like you're losing ground by you responding, by you, um, you know, the saying like, they go low, I go to hell, or they go low, I go lower. <laughs> like you're just losing ground that way. Like you're not gaining anything. Like they're gonna know they got to you. They're gonna know that, like, okay, they got a little power over you because 
they allowed you to get out of character they allowed you to get to their level like you're stooping down to their level you know when we're supposed to be elevating like the the best way is to just take the high road and it's hard it is but it, it you know you don't gain anything from just retaliating in the same form that they retaliated so that's just that so i just feel like the message overall you know it can be applied to both walks of life whether you're living a righteous path or you're not the lessons that i feel like could be applied to anyone so those are the main points that i got from church but overall i feel like he basically was just saying like just let christ's light shine through you and all that you do that's that but i will catch y'all later whenever i come back and do whatever i decide to do and yeah hey guys i am back we got the zan julio reposado i'm gonna make a drink so that i can be drinking as i cook because i'm about to get ready to start cooking so i'm gonna show y'all what i'm putting in it so i froze some strawberries Nothing can ever go smoothly, ever. I have frozen strawberries, frozen pineapples, pineapple juice, the pineapple juice with the mango, this orange peach mango juice. I don't know, sound like it'll be good. And then the strawberry uh, lemonade juice. So we're gonna see how all of that comes together. Okay, let me take a little swig y'all just to see what the heck we working with okay we all know what this tastes like but yeah i literally took a little tiny ounce it's not bad it's smooth it's just i have not eaten so anyway i really don't measure for real but i might i'm gonna Use my Las Vegas shot glass and measure the shots. I always rinse out anything I get out the cabinet. So I'm going to just do one shot. Pour it in here. Okay. Really not much at all. A little bit of strawberry. Really just like a few. A little pineapple, a little, you know, a little one, two, and I'm going to do pineapple juice. So I'm going to make this drink for Chris, so he don't like mango, so I'm just do the pineapple juice, not the whole thing, and then add some strawberry lemonade. I see if I had ice I would add more ice to make it more icy but I don't so this is how it looks and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it come back and let y'all see how it looks okay I forgot to show y'all how the other one came out but this is mine I just did the rest of the pineapple juice and then I mixed in the mango pineapple juice and a splash of this orange peach mango it's pretty good You can still taste the alcohol, but it's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to an actual cup instead of the blend cup and get to cooking and sip as I cook. But yeah, hopefully everyone is enjoying their Cinco de Mayo. This is really not our holiday for real, but black folks, we just gotta do the most. Any excuse to drink. <laughs> So I'm all done making my Mexican <laughs> dinner. Y'all, these fire. I already had one. I know this look like a real big backish plate, but that's okay. Made me another drink. This time without the frozen, yeah. 
I just made it regular and I actually prefer it that way. Yes, I don't have no ice, but it's still good. But yeah, this is what the inside look like. This is what the inside looks like. So much cheese. <laughs> yes, it's meat in there. Super cheesy. She look like 90s R&B. Her friends, I guess, WV. Took two weeks out and left it short. It's still a color good to me, baby. I'm the secret biggest fan of staying friends. We can kill with everyone. I need someone to come with. Yeah, I done lost twice in a row. So now I have to take a second shot. This is great, you see. There is no way I just lost again for the third time in a row. I've never played with these Uno cards, have y'all? It's like the same, but... Yeah, mm -mm. I've been watching Soul Food, but there's no way I'm just not, I'm not winning at all. Okay, let's go. Update, I won my first game ever. It is the next day. Uh, my Cinco de Mayo was pretty chill, as y'all saw. So I just cooked, played Uno, played Tonk, and had some drinks, had some shots, had a couple regular drinks, and that's pretty much that. And just chill for the rest of the night, watched the movie, and called it a night. So. That was my Cinco de Mayo. Again, this is not our holiday to celebrate. <laughs> and I know some people are like, um, black people putting all this effort into Cinco de Mayo. They need to have that same energy come Juneteenth. And if y'all don't know what Juneteenth is, like you're living in a box. Because, yeah, <laughs> Juneteenth is technically our Independence Day. Not July 4th and not Cinco de Mayo. But... I always try to look for things to do, like a festival or something for Juneteenth. <clears throat> but we'll see this year if I can find something. I definitely want to celebrate it. I feel like it's something that wasn't nationally celebrated for a long, long, long time. Like only certain areas of the U.S., like maybe certain southern states or so, knew really knew about it. I grew up knowing about it and grew up celebrating Juneteenth so I already knew what it meant or whatever and everything well I didn't know what it meant for a long time I just was celebrating it because I used to go to this um after school camp and summer camp it was the same place summer camp and after school camp and every summer when Juneteenth came around they have a big old festival a bunch of food vendors food was fire and they have rides and like people uh, it was a big old festival you know people singing and I want to say they had rides and games for the kids, too. I could be wrong about the rides, but I could sworn they had. It was a festival, though. It was a festival. Most importantly, I remember the food. So I would go there really just to eat good. But, yeah, we celebrated all the time. That was back at my home, in my hometown. But, um, yeah, I, I just feel like it wasn't something that was nationally celebrated or recognized. So now that it is a federal holiday, it is, right? It's a federal holiday now, right? Now that it's recognized as a federal holiday, um, we need to start putting more effort into it and actually celebrating it how we used to do 4th of July. So there's that. But uh, today, I'm not going to lie, y'all. So I'm going to vent a little bit. So that wasn't the best day. Um, I woke up and i just wasn't feeling my best and you know i'll go into that later but i realized though when you start your day with prayer and if you know i'm not trying to force religion on anybody but for anyone that does believe in god and believe in the power of prayer and everything when you start your day with prayer 
and reading your Bible, which is the easiest way to do it for me is just reading like Bible devotionals because then they'll have like specific uh, Bible verses related to that devotional. And you choose devotionals that, you know, may help you in the current season that you are in in life. And that's, well, at least that's how I choose my devotionals. So I have a Bible app and I choose my devotionals and everything. And I choose them based on like things that I need help with. So if I need help with like my faith, if I need help with um, just trusting in God, if I need help with my finances, if I need help with friendships, if I need help with, you know, starting a new chapter, or whatever you need help in, you know, whatever it is. Like if you are feeling despair, you know, you're feeling hopeless, like whatever it is, you know, you, there are so many Bible devotionals related to those topics. So I choose whatever it is I'm feeling and I start reading on that and it, it definitely makes me feel better. So I wasn't feeling, and then blasting some gospel or praise and worship music. I used to start my day off like that. And then sometimes I kind of like get off my pivot. I open up YouTube and be watching somebody, but I think you should just always make your first few minutes of your morning, like just dedicate that to God. And that's something that I'm learning and I'm hoping that I can get into a routine or back into a routine and doing so because that made me feel a lot, lot better because I, I just, it was just one of those days, you know, where you just don't, you get to thinking and it's just, yeah, you get in your head and you just get to thinking. You just don't feel, you just don't feel it that day. Like you just don't feel your best that day and that's just basically what it was and I don't know about y'all but like I just be wanting so much more for myself and I know I can get it and so sometimes we kind of be hard on ourselves too because it's like man especially for those of us who are approaching 30 you just know you want so much more and that's where the bible devotions come in handy at because it's going to remind you of God's promises and remind you to just trust in him and trust his timing. And I feel like those are things that we do need to be reminded of. Like, yes, you you have this whole idea in your head of exactly how you want your life to go, exactly where you need to be at whatever age. But you just have to trust God and trust his timing. And when it's right, it's going to happen. And it's going to happen in the most authentic way possible. You know, you're going to be like, wow. I like the way this unfolded, you know what I'm saying? Because the way I was going to have it unfolded is like, I'm going to want some overnight type of, you know, microwavable blessing, you know, so to speak. But no, like God's going to do it in, in such a gracious way. Like definitely going to wow you when the time happens, but we just have to trust in him. I know it's hard and it's easier said than done, but that's just what it is. And I didn't come on here really to, I didn't mean to come on here being extra motivational or whatever, but Somebody needs to hear that because I know I do, because I know we can be really hard on ourselves, like really hard because boy, I'm approaching 30 and I'm just like, man, even though at 30, you don't have to have it all figured out. I don't know why we feel like we do. You don't even at, you know, I hope by 40 I do, but even then like everybody peaks at different times in life and you just can't go looking at somebody else's journey or looking at wow they got this going on you know how come you blessing them and you ain't blessing me or how come you know they having all of this success and yet I'm still here in my predicament like you just can't think like that you just have to know and trust God's timing like their season is their season and yours is yours and you just have to find solace in that and keep pushing you know what I'm saying so that's pretty much the end of this video. I just came on here to chit chat with y'all a little bit before I end the vlog. I don't know how long this vlog is. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you for all of my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, I appreciate it. And I hope that you continue to rock with me and you continue to watch all of my videos. And if you want to get to know me a little bit more, go and watch some of my older videos just so that you can, you know, feel your girl's vibe a little bit more and get caught up. Also, you guys, me and my best friend, Chanel, you guys have seen her on plenty of my videos <laughs> at this point. She's been on a few of them. But uh, my latest Vegas vlog, that was her birthday 
yeah, the birthday girl in that vlog. Me and her have a podcast that we started and we are on Instagram live with it. So it's a live stream podcast because we do not live in the same city. So it's just easier to live stream it. So it's a live stream podcast, but we do have a YouTube and I will try to link the YouTube as well as the Instagram in the description box below. But our podcast name is Live and Unfiltered. Live and Unfiltered. And, you know, we're just starting, but it's fun. I mean, great conversation and we love the feedback. So if you are interested in podcasts and just like girl talk and we talk about a little bit of everything on there, but we're going to like get into a lot of different things. And we also open to suggestions of topics that we can talk about on the podcast. So if you have any, feel free to leave them down below um, or head over to our YouTube and leave them in the comments over there uh please subscribe to our to our live and unfiltered podcast youtube page again i'm gonna put it in the description box below thank you again for supporting me especially those that are constantly returning for every video like i just can't wait to see us grow and just go up from here but yeah road to 300 subscribers here we come i'll see you on my next video bye <laughs>